The goal of this lab was to create a rocket that will travel the distance of one meter or more using a film canister engine. It is fueled with 15 milliliters of vinegar and an amount of baking soda that yields a ratio of rocket mass to baking soda mass equal to or greater than 20 to 1. Your first instinct will be to pack as much of each reactant into the container as you can. The logic being, more stuff to react, the bigger the reaction. In most cases, this is true, but here it did not guarantee your rocket launch was successful. The trick to this challenge is the mass of the rocket compared to the mass of the components. This is where a little physics sneaks into the chemistry classroom. Launching a rocket is all about force. Force equals mass times acceleration. The larger the mass, the larger the force. This is why rockets that were much heavier compared to their reactants performed the best in this lab. Lighter rockets could not produce enough force to successfully clear the one meter mark. Let's take a closer look at this reaction. Baking soda reacts with vinegar to produce carbon dioxide, water, and sodium acetate. The key to this reaction is the carbon dioxide. Once the cap is put on the canister, the reactants mix. As carbon dioxide is produced, the cap prevents the gas from leaching out. This leads to a pressure buildup inside the canister. Eventually, the lid will no longer be able to keep the gas from escaping, and the buildup of pressure will explosively remove the cap and shoot the rocket upward. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action force, there is an equal and opposite reaction force. The initial action is the rush of reactants, products, and force out of the canister opening going one way and pushing hard against the air behind the rocket. The reaction is the air pushing back with the same amount of force going the other way. The rocket is thrust upward as the rushing foam and gas shoot backward. This is why the heavier rockets resulted in a better launch.